We'll be talking about grass principles in the last videos and the importance of it to help clean code. There are two last and today we're going to talk about those. Polymorphism and protected variations. So let's get started. Hi teammates, it's me Andrea again. So let's go to the point. Starting with polymorphism, yes, even polymorphism is a design pattern. Most often, it's the case when a descendant modifies the behavior of its ancestor but keeps its interface. According to this, responsibility for defining the variation of behaviors based on type is assigned to the type for which the variation happens. This is achieved using polymorphic operations. The user of the type should use polymorphic operations instead of explicit branching based on type. To explain this, I'm going to use this popular example of animal. We have the method animal zone, which is overwriting an each type on animal to make specific zones. You can implement this, for example, in Java using an interface with the defining methods that are implemented in a different way according to the specific characteristics or you can use an abstract class and extend it into the class where it can override the methods according to the type. More clear, right? Now, talking about protected variations. It protects elements from the variations of other elements, like objects, systems, subsystems, by wrapping the focus of instability with an interface and using polymorphism to create various implementations of its interface. This pattern helps us to avoid impact of variation of some elements on the other elements, provides flexibility and protection from the variations, and provides more structured design. An example of this is polymorphism, data encapsulation, and interfaces. So that's all for this video. This is a closing video talking about grass principle. So thank you guys for watching my videos and you are welcome always for my channel. You know that this is a kind of learning love for me. So we can learn together here. Goodbye.